Welcome to HP Device Manager 5.0 Complete Setup Tutorial. As a disclaimer, this tutorial makes the following assumptions. That Windows Server is set up, configured, and introduced into your environment. As part of this tutorial, we will be completing the complete installation in 10 clicks. That will include downloading and installing the HP Device Manager 5.0 executable, confirming and or changing the file save location of where the files are extracted to, agreeing to the end user license agreement, reviewing the complete setup and or destination folder, checking the preconditions and or mitigating where necessary, allowing all seven components to install while we review the admin guide, launching HPDM console, and then finally setting the root administrator password before we review the setup. Let's begin. I've already installed server 2016 standard, and I've already downloaded the HP Device Manager 5.0 executable and placed it on my desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and double click that executable. And agree to the UAC by clicking run. After confirming the save file folder where I want these files to be extracted to, I'm gonna go ahead and click next. and I'm gonna wait for it to go ahead and complete the extraction. Once the extraction is complete, I'm gonna get greeted with the welcome to the install wizard for HP Device Manager 5.0. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. After reviewing the license agreement as part of step one from top to bottom, I'm going to go ahead and check the box that. Uh, for I accept the terms of this license agreement and click next. First step two, we're gonna choose our setup type. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're gonna go with the complete installation, but just to show you the seven individual components, I'm gonna bubble in custom and then click next. This will show you the seven components that are gonna be installed as part of the complete installation, their installation size and their version. I'm gonna go ahead and click back and then rebubble in complete. If I agree to the following destination folder, we're gonna go ahead and click next. Otherwise I can go ahead and click browse. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next at this time. As step three entails, it's going to check the preconditions. So I'm gonna go ahead and click check. It's gonna check the available ports. And if everything is check marked as green from top to bottom, we know that we have all the necessary ports for HP Device Manager to function properly. At the very bottom, you'll notice that it does check the required space for each of those components as well. Since everything is check marked and it is green, we're gonna go, go ahead and click install. While it's installing the seven components of HP Device Manager 5.0, we're gonna go ahead and review the admin guide. Since we're doing the complete installation, I'm gonna go ahead and click on page 12. This is gonna highlight each and all uh, seven components as, as needed for HP Device Manager 5.0. Scrolling down through page 13 and even through page 14, you'll notice all those individual components. At the bottom of page 14, you will notice the product support matrix, which will highlight all the thin clients that HP Device Manager uh, supports. Scrolling on to page 15, it's going to go ahead and detail here at the bottom the necessary ports for HP Device Manager to function. That'll be in a range of 40,000 to 40,009 and also 40,012. There are additional ports that are necessary which will be detailed further along in this guide. On page 16, it's going to uh, allow you the commands that help you to set up those individual ports in your Windows uh, Server Advanced Firewall. Scrolling down to page 17, it's going to detail the complete setup, which is what we're performing in today's tutorial. As we scroll down a little bit further, it's going to provide snapshots on how we're getting through that tutorial as well, which we're demonstrating here today. I'm gonna to scroll past all those snapshots. And then starting on page 29, it's going to define some topologies for HP Device Manager. 
On the top, it's going to define a standard setup in which all components are installed on the same piece of hardware or same virtual machine. On the bottom, it's going to show a breakout of each, and in, each individual component on different pieces of hardware or different virtual machines for a more advanced setup. Starting at the top, uh, which would generally support 5,000 thin clients, you have the web console here on the left. An administrator would use this web console or even the software console if they chose to, to go ahead and create a deployment request. That deployment request would be answered by the piece of hardware or virtual machine in which all seven components are installed. It would then use the HPDM gateway to send that request out to the thin clients to deploy that request. Looking at the bottom, it would be the same scenario. The administrator would use the web console or the software console to set up a deployment scenario. They would then send that to the HPDM server. The HPDM server would consult the database for its logical information. It would then look towards the master or child repositories for its payload. It would then send that out to the respective gateway, which would then send the payload and deployment to the thin clients. I'm gonna ex exit this admin guide and we're gonna check on the installation. As you can see, we have reached a success screen. If we chose to, we could check the box for launch HPDM Configuration Center if we needed to do a little bit of additional configuration. We're gonna go ahead and click Finish and allow it to do it all for us. And we're gonna give it a few seconds to complete the full installation. You'll notice here on the desktop that there is an icon for HP Device Manager 5.0 console. I'm gonna go ahead and double click that to launch it. During the launch, it's gonna show us a splash screen for the new HP Device Manager. And now it's gonna present us with a prompt to set the root password. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good root password. And after we give it a root password, it's gonna drop us on the home dashboard, which is going to show us six tiles that highlight the six individual features uh, that HP Device Manager utilizes. As a starting point, you're gonna to wanna to click on the tab at the top that says gateways and repositories. Once you click that, you're going to want to configure your individual repositories and gateways per your environment. Following that, you're gonna click on the tab that says manage devices. And then you're gonna go ahead and click on the menu for discover devices. And you're gonna utilize one of the three options to discover your thin client devices. And from there, you're gonna be able to manage and or deploy to your thin clients. As part of the summary for today, we demonstrated the following, a complete installation. We invite you to join our webinars every Tuesday and Thursday, highlighting HPDM and also ThinPro Converter. This concludes our tutorial. Thank you.